we are starting the atmosphere unit. So uh, the first lesson that we're going to end up doing is what's in the atmosphere. Uh, eventually, we're going to end up getting to the layers of the atmosphere, uh, pressure in the atmosphere. Uh, we're going to talk about something called the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, we're going to talk about albedo and the greenhouse effect and transferring heat through our atmosphere. But our first uh, area that we're going to talk about is what's in the atmosphere. And um, I want you to kind of think about these two questions um, and then I'm going to have you pause it and really think about it. Spend about two or three minutes talking about these questions in your head. What is air and how do we know it exists? And try to get away from the, the how we know it exists uh, by using, uh, not using the uh, example of, well, if we don't breathe, we're going to die. So try to find other ways that we know that it exists. But you might want to pause it now and give yourself about a minute or so to really think about those two questions. Um, here's a question for you. Um, how do you know or do you think that air has weight or not? And if you do, how would you go ahead and prove that? Um, and if you don't, how would you go ahead and prove that? Um, so what I'm going to ask you to do is pause this and maybe even think about a way that you would uh, create an experiment. So pause it, give yourself about five minutes to try to think of a way that you would put together a, a demonstration. I know in class I showed this, um, and uh, but just give it a pause. Well, one way that you could prove it here um, is if you took a ruler and you put two balloons, one filled and another one filled with air and another one not filled with air, and you tape the balloons on both ends and you balance it on your finger, uh, the balloon that has the more air or with the air will weigh more. And uh, same size balloon, same everything except for one has air in it, the other one doesn't, so the balance will lean towards the one that has the air in it. Um, with this, um, I want you to watch this animation, um, and we're going to talk about what what's in the air that we breathe, and hopefully I'll find this for you. That's not it. It's this one right here. When we think of air, what we breathe, most people say, oh, we breathe oxygen. And they'd be right to an extent, but not necessarily exactly right. Um, if you look at this um, animation here, it talks about 100 parts of air. Um, and if we do a count, here's argon and the, uh, um, the number of parts per 100 that we actually have. And it's really only one piece of argon per every 100 pieces um, is argon, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Only about 1%. Um, if we were looking at oxygen, the one that most people think, uh, if we count them all, um, if we count through them all, and you'll find that uh, there are, hopefully I'll get them all. Um, Do I miss any? 21 out of 100, and percentage-wise, that's 21% of the air that we breathe is oxygen. And I'm not going to click through the others, but the last one is nitrogen. And if I were to click on all of these, I would end up getting the number uh, 78. So this neat little chart right here talks about how water molecules and uh, come together to make water. Uh, air molecules do the same. Uh, when we think about nitrogen, oxygen, and argon, carbon dioxide in this case too, uh, what percent makes up um, the air? We said there were 78 out of 100 for nitrogen, 21% uh, were oxygen, and 1% was argon and other gases. And looking at this chart right here, it just shows 78% is nitrogen. Uh, you can see the majority of the air that we breathe is nitrogen. So. Um, Keep that in mind is you know what is the atmosphere? The atmosphere are just uh, layers of atmosphere together and um, made up of mostly nitrogen, seventy eight percent and twenty one percent oxygen, and then only one percent argon and other gases. 
So that's it. Next one we get into will be lesson two, layers of the atmosphere.